Hey guys, Dan's Restorations, back in with another video for you guys today. Got a nice little bag of tools right there, so let's see what I got. Just a reminder, if you guys want some Dan's Restorations merch, you can head on over to templargear.shop. Uh, link will be in the comments section, pinned right to the top. You guys can get shirts, hats, um, stickers. <laughs> now bumper stickers there too, and magnets. So check it out. Use code TOOLS, capital T-O-O-L-S, for 5% off your first purchase. So enjoy. Okay, so this bag I got uh, off of Facebook. It was free, so. Uh, I think I've, oh, I only saw like one or two pictures of this and it only showed a couple tools and I quickly looked in the bag and there was a lot more than what was advertised. So let's see, first things first. Come on. Got this old hammer with a uh, leather grip on it. That's definitely seen better days. See a name. I cannot see a name on it. But I think we can fix this up at some point. Next we have a pair of I think that's Klein. Yep. A pair of Klein pliers. Oh, these are stuck. Again, seen some better days, but the uh, cutters are actually pretty good condition, so that's good. Well, let's see what else we can find. Got a screwdriver. This one looks like it's actually really good condition. It looks like looks like it's never been used. Just a little dirty, but it needs to be wiped down. Nice little Allen wrench. This one looks a little messed up. Uh, let's see if there's a brand on this. I cannot see a brand. Here we have another screwdriver. What does that say? Does that say Glove Master? I don't even know. <laughs> well, yep, again, this one is pretty crusty. There we go, here's some good stuff. Nice wrench. Uh, three eighths on this side. Seven sixteenths on this. I'm trying to see if I can find a brand on here. I think that says Williams. Yeah, pretty positive it says Williams, but we'll clean that up and See if we can see it better. Nice pair of needle nose pliers. Again, a little crusty, but not too bad. And it, this is, if it focuses, chain lock. Nice. Yeah, that one wasn't in the picture. Got a nice uh, wooden handle, wooden handle screwdriver. Uh, tip's a little messed up and a little bent. Little ferrule is uh, broken off. But we can get this back to looking nice again. I do not see a brand on this. Uh, I 
I love these kind of pliers. I mean, wow, I love this kind of wrench. Uh, not quite sure on a brand on this. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to uh, clean this up and maybe we'll see a brand somewhere, but nothing as of just yet. Okay. Another screwdriver. see if I can find brands. Nope, but uh, this sun's a little messy. Come on, focus. Well, I can fix that up too. Another wrench. 29 millimeter and what is this one? Where is it? Not bad, not 29 millimeter. 3 8 7 16 And the brand. I believe it says the billings on here. Once again, I'll have to clean that up. Hartford, Connecticut. If it focuses. There we go. Yeah, the Billings and Spencer Company. Nice little nail file. <laughs> Smaller screwdriver. This one's actually not that bad. And this says Western Auto on it. It's very faint. I can get to focus. Western Auto. That's pretty cool. And another wrench. This one is. I can't tell. It's uh, so worn down. Nothing's showing right now. Clean this one up and. Uh, See what size and uh, brand. A couple more items still. Part of a flyer. Keep that there. Some cutters. These ones are really rusty. Looks like it says Japan right there. Can't even really read that. Well, clean that up. Make it look nice at some point. Another smaller wrench. This one is also made in Hartford. This is a 5 16 and 3 16 wrench. Ford wrench. There's another piece to this. Over the connecting pieces in there too. Another one. Yeah, there we go. The Billings and Spencer Company, Hartford, Connecticut. Have a socket. 11 sixteenths, made in Japan. Oh, that makes sense because this. Will this fit this? Because this did have a ball detent on it. So I'm wondering. Ah, there we go.
Okay. Some kind of clamp, hose clamp. Probably an older one. Come on. <clears throat> Made in USA. A dropped forge. I wish things would focus on my phone. Yeah, I don't see any names. Piece of plastic. Another wrench. Again, it's just so worn that you can't see the size. No other goodies. Here's some sandpaper. Hmm. No pin for this though. But this is ideally what it would look like. Which I believe I do have another pair that's very similar to this, so. Yeah, these are all the goodies I got off of a uh, Facebook group, and everything was completely free. So, definitely got a lot more tools to restore. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, everyone.